Howdy from Texas. Today we're going to talk about the hot ends for the GB3 for the Gigabot 3. This is a fully assembled left hot end. Now let me go through and I'll explain the individual components. Starting from the bottom we have the nozzle. That's what converts the large filament via heat into your small stream. It goes in through the heater block which is where your heater cartridge plugs in and your thermal couple plug in. Then it comes through the thermal tube, which is what connects the two together. This is also called a heat break. And the reason for that is you want your hot end hot, but you don't want that heat racing up your tube and melting your filament. You want your filament to melt only when you get it in the heater block. So to aid in that, we use a heat sink on the other end of the thermal tube, which tends to radiate all that heat and keep that filament flowing through. All right, so let's talk about now how we assemble this. Uh, we start with the thermal tube, and what we're going to add is we're going to add a thermal grease to it. What it does is it improves the heat connectivity between the thermal tube and the heat sink. So we actually do this in two steps. Take a little bit of thermal grease. Yeah, this is nice and gooey and messy. And you want it on just the threads that go into the heat sink, not the other threads. So we're going to spread it around on there and make sure we get it deep in all the threads. You shouldn't be able to see any metal, or you'll just see the ridges as you do it. Okay, then we're going to screw it in the heat sink. And what we're going to do, we're going to screw it in, get a bunch in there. Okay, get it in all the way up. There we go. Now you see there's some goop on there, so what I'll tend to do is I'll pull it out. Sorry. I'll pull it out. I'll wipe off the excess goop. Just because it's there, it doesn't serve any purpose. Give it a little wipe, and then I'll reload it. So you see we've got a nice even code on all the threads, and we'll load it in. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do. It doesn't have to be tight all the way in. We'll get it tight when we put it together. The next thing we're gonna add is we're gonna add the heater block. You wanna add it such that the letter is facing you and the uh, thermal tube screws in the back. Okay, we're just gonna get this started because we're also gonna add the nozzle. So what's gonna happen inside here is the nozzle and the uh, thermal tube are actually gonna lock together and hold everything together. So we're going to put the nozzle in, and we have a somewhat specific gap we use here, and then add the other. There we go, and you'll see they'll actually sync up. Okay, there we go. So now it's actually fully assembled and ready to go. The one thing we will do is we'll tighten it up. You can tighten it just with a wrench. We actually use a torque wrench here in the shop, about uh, about 20, 25 inch pounds, just to, just to give it a good snug and make sure it's not gonna come out. Now where the heat block sits relative to the nozzle and the uh, thermal tube is, is not as critical as you may seem because the overall dimension is defined by the inside of the thermal tube, the length of the thermal tube, and the length of the nozzle. So the heater block may be a little bit closer this way, a little bit further that way, that's okay. So you have your uh, um, hot end, and let's say it's time you want to swap out a nozzle, or you've got this thing completely caked with goo, and you need to clean it up. The, this assembly is, of course, very simple. The uh, nozzle and the thermal tube are kind of friction locked together. So just by holding it, you can unscrew the nozzle, nozzle comes out. Same is true uh, if you're on the bot. Zoom over here a little bit. This is kind of the configuration. If you're on the bot, you can swap the nozzle out without even taking it off the bot. Go to a bigger nozzle or whatever you want to do. Once you get the nozzle off, it's a matter of just uh, unscrew the heater block. What we've seen in the past is that sometimes you'll have a little error with your print <laughs> and everything turns to goo and uh, so you want to take that apart and clean it up. 
a good trick to taking this apart when it's gooed like this is to heat it up because the plastic will make everything stick together but heat it up to, to temp and it should come right apart for you one of the things that has proven difficult before and is, is kind of hard to do is to get if you need to somehow replace this thermal tube because it's it's uh, cinched in there pretty good there's a trick you can use with the heater block and the nozzle holding the heater block and nozzle tight together and then try to break it loose that way Alright, so here what we have, this is actually just a little mock-up we put together. You'll recognize it, of course, as the uh, head print head on your bot. Uh, what we're going to demonstrate now is how to do an adjustment in the actual height. If you have a dual extruder, what you've noticed is you have two nozzles, and you have to make them match. And adjusting them is very simple. This right here is the tensioner screw, and it's what you use to tighten and loosen the hot end. So we're just going to loosen it up. And see, as soon as I do it, I can move the hot end, and you can move it up and down. You can get enough play between the two that you should easily be able to, to find a common set point. Now, if you need to remove the entire uh, uh, hot end, you do have to remove this adjustment screw because it actually holds the hot end in place. Oh, didn't get it far enough. Okay. So you remove the screw, and now the hot end will just slide right out. Now you can see it's still got everything on it. The fans just pop off as a, as a unit. So if you just press on the plastic part, you just pop them right off. There we go. You see what's also connected then, so you have your hot end, so you can see L for left. You'll have your thermal, con um, your TC, thermal couple. thermal couple, thank you, and, you, and your uh, heater cartridge or your hot end. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll, we'll pull the uh, thermal cartridge out. It's just got a little set screw. Unscrew it. It should be in there pretty tight, so we don't like them coming out. There we go. Take the TC out. And then there's a small wrench we use here. You can use a pair of pliers or whatever. Just realize that these are extraordinarily sensitive. Very, very low torque. They will break. So I'm going to pull this wire out so I don't mess it up. There we go. And you just unscrew it. And again, be, be super careful with these. I've busted more than my share. Putting them in and just a little too much torque and it's all over. There you go. You see how fragile that is. Okay, while we got this out, why don't we go ahead and I got stuck. Why don't we go ahead and uh, demonstrate a, a nozzle swap? So let's say this is a 0.4 millimeter nozzle and you want to put in a 0.8. You know, it's real simple, just a matter of your 7 millimeter wrench. If you need to, these are pretty tight. Actually, I'm going to make Jared pause here. No, I got it. <laughs> Uh, you can do it, yes, you can do it under heat, not with your hands, of course, but, you know, and then your replacement nozzle goes right back in. It's helpful because there is a, a setting on the depth, how much the nozzle por uh, protrudes. If you don't let the heat sink and the thermal block move, because the thermal block actually unscrews off of this, if you can hold these two in sync, then the new nozzle will go into exactly the right depth. And tighten it up. There you go. And you're ready to go. You can also do that nozzle swap on the bot. You don't have to take anything apart. You just reach in with your wrench, pull it out. Again, careful not to let these things spin. Put the new one in, you're off and running.